My uh, Microsoft configuration just got done, and uh, now my desktop is just flashing. That's so... That's never happened. Not when I'm installing a product on my computer, no. No, that's never happened. Oh my gosh. And I'm recording it right now, this way. I'll upload the video. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. <laughs> this is so weird. Hell yeah. I want a cheeseburger now too. Damn it! You have to make me go ahead and crave one. <laughs> 12 cents. <laughs> with that sense. Yeah, with that sense. Whether it was on whether it was on YouTube, Tryon, Flixia, um, Hub Pages, Bukisa, all these different websites that I put content on, I don't get paid much only because, like, with online with, with online consumers, people are looking at it as something that's really fishy. They don't trust it. For what reason, I don't know. Because, yeah, as far as clicking on the links and purchasing from them, really, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and you end up paying them for something that's either illegitimate, is something that like you're gonna get less of, as far as quality goes, or you don't get it at all. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. This is why so many of us vloggers on YouTube complain about um, Google from one point or another because, the, you know, Google doesn't really take the time out to personally qualify those who purchase um, ad space through AdWords. And that, that therein lies the problem, because not only does it lose the trust of the publisher, it also loses the trust of, ultimately, the consumer who is going to be purchasing from these big brands. Mm-hmm. The, the clicky or the purchaser. Yeah. That uh, I think you you're mostly you're mostly correct on the third thing that you just said, fraud. That is the thing that people are most concerned about because they're handing over their personal information when they make purchases over the internet. So they're thinking, okay, maybe it's better if we go on to um, the company website and purchase from that directly versus through Google Ads. And the, Google's suffering from it hardcore because they haven't taken the time out to actually hand hand pick and qualify these corporations that are utilizing AdWords for advertising space. Um, so yeah, that 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 that's what creates the big problem with that. Uh, by the way, I'm recording us. Well, I'm recording me, just talking. Is it okay if I put you on speaker? Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Let me find the button. <laughs> ah! There it is! Hello? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Actually, it's hard to hear you. You're, like, fading out. I'm fading out? Yeah, it sounds really, like, distant. Like, dropping off. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sounds horrible, actually. And my... And my thing is beeping now. Aw. Oh. oh, crap. It's probably using more power now to be on speakerphone. That's why. Yeah. You know, maybe if I put it on speakerphone and call you back, that might work. Uh, maybe. I guess if you want. Yeah. Okay. 
figure give that a try but you, you know what Arr! I can't get your phone number because it's on my external hard drive and obviously I'm having problems with my computer so I'm gonna shut the video off real quick okay I wasn't about to give you guys his phone number because <laughs> he was giving it to me I wanted to yeah That sounds shitty. Excuse me. <laughs> I hate it when things like this happen. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just that me and my friend Pete were having a good conversation about Google Ads, uh, their advertisement uh, system, and basically how that all works. And I wanted to keep this the conversation going on speaker so that you guys can hear it because I really you know I think the conversations that we have are very interesting and in that you know honestly uh, any of you guys that um, deal with Google AdWords or AdSense may be interested in uh, listening to our conversation I had to put my phone on the charger because it was beeping like crazy which means the battery was dying and um, Okay, I'm just going to let it charge up for a few. And yeah, I had to shut the video off because, like I said, if I said it, um, <clears throat> I don't want to give his phone number away because he was on speaker when he was giving me his number. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to let it charge for a bit and <clears throat> see what's going on with that. Hopefully I can call him back and not have problems. Because I just... You heard it. I just put it on speaker and it was like... Like all shitty sounding. I don't know what's wrong with it, but let's try it again. Hang on. Now that I've had it on base for, say, a few minutes, let's see if we can call my friend back and continue the conversation. beeping. Crap. I really wanted to capture the conversation, damn it! <laughs> oh. <sighs> Crazy phone. Sorry. I don't want to break this. This is, the, this is the last thing I want to have break on me. You guys will never guess what the heck happened to me tonight. Hang on. Oh, I'm so friggin'. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Jeez. Alright. Apparently, my original thought wasn't gonna work, but that's okay. Anyway, what happened to me tonight was I tried going on the computer and the internet both at 6 p.m., and. What ended up happening is my modem stopped working totally. My DSL modem stopped working. So I'm like, okay. I call customer service and I come to find that I can get another modem for free, the same model, because I'm a customer. Awesome. So it's going to be shipped to me in one to two business days, the customer representative said, and that's very nice. So I get to get that for free. But... I ran into a few new problems. Okay. From my online school, I ended up getting a copy of Microsoft Office, which is awesome. And I wanted to go ahead, uninstall it, and reinstall it again, because every time I was typing and I tried to hit the space bar, it wouldn't give me a space and then when it gave me a space it would give me a backslash two backslashes two backslashes a G and an H or just a G and an H and I'm like okay there is something wrong with my applications so let me go ahead 
uninstall them, try to reinstall them from here with the product key, that didn't even work. As soon as I reinstalled everything on my computer, everything on everything on my desktop was flashing like nuts. So yeah. If oh my gosh, if you guys only knew. Um <laughs> So I have a sneaking suspicion that due to the typing in my Microsoft Word um, application and also the notepad application that comes with Windows did not work at all, I might have gotten hacked into. I don't know if I'm 100% on that. I'm not going to claim it like it's a fact because I do not know. Um, I don't know if I was actually hacked into or not, but I do know that my computer is no longer working. Yeah, because just about every app that I open on it is screwed up in some way or another, especially my Microsoft Office apps. So, I mean, I tried reinstalling them and it wouldn't let me and I'm having issues, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> other than to maybe <clears throat> get another tower excuse me <clears throat> I don't know whether to get another tower or what's going on but hang on a second hello it was not working it's working now oh, you sound like really messed up again do I that's because I'm on speaker. That might be it. Yeah. Well, you tried calling me back then? Yeah, I did try calling you back. You actually sound a lot better now. You did call me back when? I tried calling you back like two minutes ago, but my phone was still beeping, so I had to put oh, it okay. on the charger. That's what, right, that's what I wanted to check. I wasn't sure if maybe you were having problems in your end. Okay. <laughs> no, just no major issues. Thank goodness. I still have my phone. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was just talking to everybody and letting them know what's going on with my computer, everything that I just told you. Oh, Yes, aww. Of all the freaking things to happen to me. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's like I was telling you earlier, I tried, you know, having a positive attitude and thinking, well, the only direction to go from here is up. I was wrong! <laughs> Because my tower's out, everything's out. I gotta replace it. Dee. Oh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. Are you there? Down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, say it. That's all I needed. Everybody, this is my friend Pete DeFilippo on the phone with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he said, oh, yeah. All right? That's right. That's my buddy. Aw, oh, thank you. And if you want, go ahead, shamelessly plug in your show. My show? Yeah, your show. I was you, just going to say, I'll make sure I don't say anything incriminating on this recording. <laughs> No, you're not saying anything incriminating. Yeah. So if uh, people wanted to listen to you, DJ, on the radio show, where would they go? For those that are within the range of Princeton, New Jersey, they can go to the radio station at 103.3 on the FM dial. Uh, if they're outside the realm of the reception, they can do it online. Give the internet website address WPRB.com. We click on the link that says listen WPRB. Okay, awesome. So that's WPRB, everybody. Uh, everybody within the range of Princeton, New Jersey could go on, what is it, 103.3? 103.3, yes. Okay, you can listen on 103.3, or you could go directly to www.wprb.com, click on listen, and catch my buddy Pete, because he's one of the best. Oh, thank you. And I'm on Tuesday night. 
Okay, he's on uh, Tuesday nights, you said. Correct. Ah, Tuesday nights from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. Dig it. Seriously, guys, go ahead, give him a listen, because he's awesome. He oh, plays okay. the best underground stuff ever. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna, for, for all. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're so welcome. Oh, yeah. Since we have the advent of Facebook, where Facebook actually has full first and last name, I could then address Jennifer as Jennifer Coral. If this was back in the 80s, I would say, hey, what's up, Jen? Well, you know what? You could still say, hey, what's up, Jen? Because I was born in the 80s, and I'm so proud of it. Oh, that's right. So, I mean, we have to go back to kindergarten, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gaga goo. And... <laughs> Learning how to tie my shoes, eating ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was the era before the era of, and I has a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day, it was like, we go out because McDonald's is only serving 30 million, and now I think they're up to what, 50 million or something. Cheeseburger and a milkshake. Yeah. Instead of, can I has, it would be, can I have. Oh, well, the cat thing is, can I has. You know, the whole thing on the internet, they show the cat, the swollen eyes, say, can I has a cheeseburger, please? Yeah. <laughs> so that's like, that's the era that we're in now. We're in the, uh, can I has a cheeseburger cat era. George Washington back, you know, in the, like Kitty. in the 1900s just chopped down a cherry tree. He never thought of the concept of all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. He just did Ben Franklin, even when he dropped the Liberty Bell and cracked it. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that? Yeah. Oh. Whoa, what was that? I have no freaking clue. That was strange. Well, That's Pete what? just... Pete just said something to the effect of, uh, back in the era of Ben Franklin, we wouldn't have, uh, um, imagined John Belushi on crack. Belushi on crack? <laughs> I thought that's what you said. No, I said, um, that, um, Ben Franklin dropped the Liberty Bell, and the Liberty Bell cracked. Ah, yes. And he wasn't able to return it to Ikea because he lost the receipt, so then he got a... <laughs> keep it in a garage, and his wife was pissed off, because she's like, get that out of here, I want to park the Model T in the garage, and then he had to move it out of there, moved it to this other location, and they built Oh! What the hell is that? Oh! Holy crap, I have no idea. It sounds like an instrument. Yeah, it, it actually sounded like a boat honking, it was like, Yeah, it almost sounded like you're adding, it's almost like you're doing what... Paul Schaefer does on Jay Leno, where he's like playing the instrument. Jay Leno is reading the uh, the pre-written corny joke. Go, oh, jeez, y y seriously, dude, you need to get control of your gas, okay? That's not me. You're driving me crazy here. Do not blame it on the chair. I don't want to hear it. Don't blame it on what? Do not blame it on the chair. I don't want to hear it. Chair. <laughs> you know how some people would say when they fart, they'll say, "It was the chair." Yeah, but I'm not farting. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm Please, I can hear that from here. I'm just glad that there's no such thing as smell a phone. I can hear it. Like oh, come on, dude. What did you eat? Wait, is that you doing? Oh, oh, holy crap. You're playing an instrument. No, I'm not. It's the phone. What? Oh, oh. See, my friend Pete can't stop farting. We're going to have to go. I love you guys. <laughs> See?